though. Guess we'll do a little bit of crappy fishing and a little bit of catfishing. Hopefully we don't get rained on. Brother-in-law will be out here about nine or ten, so guess I'm gonna try to crappy fish till he gets here and see what we get into. Up on something. Dang it. It's not what we wanted. Little catfish. Be careful with them little ones, though. They'll, they'll fin the heck out of you. Slab boy. It's a, it's a good eater, but we're gonna let it go. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. Well probably should uh Continued on, uh, I think I'm so trappy to that, look at it. I probably should have kept on crappy fishing. Going catfishing was, uh, not a good idea. A bunch of small ones trying to take my bait. I have to test out my new camera though. And with the settings and whatnot. So, hopefully, y'all enjoy. I guess we'll first start off by the native sidekick landing gear. Got it from a buddy of mine. Makes life easy. Then we got the boondocks uh, rudder. I just replaced my cable, so I haven't trimmed them yet. Buddy Joey added these extra rod holders when he had it. I uh, put these Scotty flush mounts in. I got a piece of starboard underneath supporting all that. Joey took a toddler bike and made a bearing out of that headset. It's a little dirty, but it's so smooth compared to anything else. Then we got the underseat storage for it all 23600s, and it's got the little pouches right here. Got that little native pouch right there. Uh, if you come back here and look, uh, the little button lights back here, and I'll put one on each side. I wrapped the transducer cord around here and ran it up to here. It's usually not in the way right there, but 
way my kayak's sitting on this stand. That cable's high. And I got the, I shortened the power cable right here and I plug it into the, the Yak Power plug. It's a flush mount. I got one right there. One right here for my camera, my GoPro. Made my GoPro pull out of PVC and uh, uh, took it and hollowed that out with a Dremel tool to make a USB port. Then I got the GoPro Hero 8 with the 3BR case that works out really well. I'll show you how I mounted my transducer. bolted it to the bottom of the drive and then here's my yak power switch here's my power box right here you just plug it in it's got a usb port turn it on and you come up here to the switch and there's your power panel and the ones for your <clears throat> the USB and then the two's the power on my depth finder and then I got the bell lights I gotta plug it in. I got the plug right here. That way you can unhook the drive. Got the little fog light mounted up front. Then these are my middle lights. Gives off plenty of light. Or it don't blind you while you're fishing at night. Then my stern lights are back here I'll shut this door but lights up the area back here where my cooler and stuff is then you just switch her off and she's good to go but got some seat risers I don't have my bolts in them right now that makes life so much easier show you what this thing looks like underneath it hangs down plenty enough to where your drive's not in the way got a weed guard too but works out awesome i got this paddle park too uh holds my stake out pole and my half a paddle i lost uh the other half of it so it works out good I can still steer and everything else stake out pulls tight to the side that thing right there makes life so much easier I'll show you this is the Yak Bauer box keep me an extra fuse in there I got 3D batteries they're pretty easy to get out and I'll leave a link in the description below with everything that I use so hopefully y'all enjoyed.